Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Ursnet Engine, 3D Python Game Engine, and this is tutorial number 21, Light. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Light and the Ursnet Engine. First, let's import our uh, Ursnet module and create a window. So in the top, we can import Ursnet by writing from Ursnet import star. And now we can set up our basic app. So app is equal to Ursnet, then app run and now what we could do is I want to create a mushroom and so this will just demonstrate um, or we'll use it to present our light so I'll create a mushroom entity so mushroom one is equal to an entity I'll set the model equal to an obj file in my assets folder pumpkin obj and so if I save and run this I have a pumpkin uh, right there, but you notice that it is white right now. So what we could do is also add in some light. So I'll add in a point light. And so all I need to do is add point light. I could run this. And now you see that the pumpkin becomes dark. And that's because when we add the light, it brings in a shadow as well. And all the entities will be in the shadow unless they are illuminated by light. Point light is also an entity, and by default, its position is going to be 0, 0, which means that it's inside the pumpkin. So when the light is inside the pumpkin, it's not going to illuminate the pumpkin. So what we could do is move the light up. And so to move our light up, I'll set the Y position equal to 2. And if I run this again, now we see that the light... Um, from above shows on our pumpkin. And so the pop, top of the pumpkin is now illuminated. So if we want to move the light to the bottom, then that just means that the bottom is going to be, uh, the bottom part of the pumpkin will also be illuminated. So instead of two, I'll set this to negative two, meaning that the point light is going to be below our pumpkin. And so if we run this again, now the bottom of our pumpkin is lighted or is lit. And we can also add color to the light, um, so that it's not necessarily white. For example, we could set the light color to be equal to red. So I'll set the color equal to color.red. I'm just changing the color of the light from white to red. And now you see that the color uh, at the bottom of the pumpkin is now illuminated by the color red. So we have a red color light. We can also have multiple lights. For example, we could have a red light at the bottom and also a green light at the top. So what I'll do is assign an L1 variable, which is going to be our uh, light one. So L1 is our first light. And this is going to be the bottom of our pumpkin. And I'll have L2 equal to a duplicate of L1, except I'll set the Y equal to two and the color equal to color dot green oops color is equal to color dot green so l2 is going to be the top light and now instead of a red color we set this to a green color so if i run this now the top of the pumpkin is illuminated by the green light and the bottom is illuminated by the red light also the light cannot only be blocked by an, also light cannot be blocked by an entity for example, if we create another pumpkin entity and put it well below the first one, the bottom pumpkin will still receive light from the top, and the top pumpkin will still receive light from the bottom. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to create another mushroom. So mushroom 2 is equal to a duplicate of the first mushroom, and instead I'll set the y position equal to negative 1. So if I save and run this, uh, we see that both pumpkins receive lights from the top and the bottom. So basically, that means light can penetrate through the entities. So even though this pumpkin is above this pumpkin, uh, this pumpkin doesn't block the green light from showing on this one. Now we can add two more uh, mushrooms to the left and to the right to uh, see that the entities at different positions look like um, by the light from different directions. So I'm going to create two more mushrooms. So mushroom three is a duplicate. Du 
Oops. Let's change this to duplicate of mushroom 1. I'll set the x to negative 2. And I'll have mushroom 4 equal to a duplicate of mushroom 1. And I'll set the x equal to 2. So I can save and run this. And now I have my left and right pumpkins uh, added to. Now we can see that the top of the the top right and the bottom right part of the left pumpkin, so right here, uh, both of those parts are illuminated. And the top left and the bottom left part of the right pumpkin, so this pumpkin, is also illuminated. So now let's have some fun uh, to make a power switch so that when one on our keyboard is pressed, the light will turn on. And when the two key is pressed, the light will turn off. So we'll need the input function to add in some user input. So what I could do is define an input function, define input with a parameter of the key. So we'll check if the keyboard key is equal to 1. We'll set our L1 light color equal to color.red and our L2.color equal to color.green. So 1 is going to be our activate switch. Otherwise, if the key is equal to 2, this will basically be our deactivate or off switch. We'll set L1 color equal to color.black and L2 dot color also equal to color.black. So if I save and run this, and I press 1, well, it's already on, so nothing should happen. But if I press 2, now we basically turn our lights off. I can press 1 again and 2, and I can keep turning on and off the lights. And now you can see how the lights affect pumpkins at each position. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.